CIET and CERT presents audiobook of geography for class 7 entitled Our Environment. This is the chapter 5 Water from page 30 to 38. Page 30 Water. When you think of water, what images come to your mind? You think of rivers, the waterfalls, the pitter-patter of raindrops, water in your taps. Children love to float paper boats in rain puddles. By noon the puddles vanish. Where does the water go? The sun's heat causes evaporation of water into vapour. When the water vapour cools down, it condenses and forms clouds. From there, it may fall on the land or sea in the form of rain, snow or sleet. The process by which water continually changes its form and circulates between oceans, atmosphere and land is known as the water cycle. Refer to figure 5.1 on the bottom right side of the page. Also on the left side of the page we have glossary. The word is terrarium. It is an artificial enclosure for keeping small house plants. Also there is an activity. Make your own terrarium. We have a small picture of a terrarium. Fill one-fourth of a big jar with soil and press it well. Put a thin layer of hummus on top of it. Plant the largest plants first and then arrange the smaller ones around them. Spray the arrangement with water and close the jar. The water that evaporates from the leaves and soil condenses and falls back in the form of drops of water. Our earth is like a terrarium. The same water that existed centuries ago still exists today. The water used to irrigate a field in Haryana may have flowed down the Amazon River a hundred years ago. The major sources of Fresh water are the rivers, ponds, springs and glaciers. The ocean bodies and the seas contain salty water. The water of the oceans is salty or saline as it contains large amount of dissolved salts. Page 31 Most of the salt is sodium chloride or the common table salt that you eat. On this page we have a big picture of the world map titled World Major Seas, Lakes and Rivers. We can see all the five continents and the major seas, lakes and rivers shown. Page 32 Do you know Salinity is the amount of salt in grams present in 1000 grams of water. The average salinity of the oceans is 35 parts per thousand. Do you know? Dead Sea in Israel has salinity of 340 grams per liter of water. Swimmers can float in it because the increased salt content makes it dense. Distribution of water bodies We all know that three-fourth of the Earth's surface is covered by water. If there is more water than land on this Earth, why do so many countries face water scarcity? Is all the water on Earth available to us? The table here gives the distribution of water in percentage. Oceans 97.3 saline water Ice caps 2.0 Groundwater 0.68 Freshwater lakes 
0.009 Inland lakes and salt lakes 0.009 Atmosphere 0.0019 Rivers 0.0001 So we understand that except for the oceans all other resources give us fresh water and the sum of all these percentages makes it 100%. Water distribution can be demonstrated by a simple activity. It's given in the activity box here. Activity Take 2 liters of water. Let it represent the total water on the surface of the earth. Measure out 12 spoons of water from this vessel into another bowl. The water that is left behind in the vessel represents the salty water found in oceans and seas. This water is obviously not fit for consuming. It is saline, that is, contains salts. The 12 spoons of water that was taken in a bowl is the total amount of fresh water on earth. The figure shows us the distribution of this fresh water. Understand for yourself how much water can actually be used by you. Distribution of fresh water is also shown by a picture diagram. Nine spoons are equal to ice caps, two spoons are equal to groundwater, half spoon is equal to the fresh water lakes and one drop is equal to the rivers. Water is absolutely essential for survival. Water alone can quench our thirst when we are thirsty. Now, don't you think we are wasting a precious resource when we use water carelessly? Page 33 We have a collage of different newspaper cuttings and below it we have some questions. Why is water important for us? Suggest some ways in which water can be conserved. A. In your home. B. In your school. And we know that all these cuttings are related to water. Ocean Circulation There is something magical about walking bare feet on the seashore. The wet sand on the beach the cool breeze, the seabirds, the smell of the salt in the air and music of the waves. Everything is so fascinating. Unlike the calm waters of ponds and lakes, ocean water keeps moving continuously. It is never still. The movements that occur in oceans can be broadly categorized as waves, tides and currents. On the bottom of the page we have a picture of Pacific Ocean taken from the beach and on the right side we have a piece of information titled Do you know? March 22nd is celebrated as World Water Day when the need to conserve water is reinforced in different ways. Page 34 Do you know, waves are formed when winds scrape across the ocean surface. The stronger the wind blows, the bigger the wave becomes. Waves When you are playing throw ball on the beach and the ball falls into the water, what happens? It is fun to watch how the ball gets washed back to the shore by the waves. When the water on the surface of the ocean rises and falls alternately, they are called waves. There is a picture of waves on the page and below that the text continues. During a storm, the winds blowing at very high speed form huge waves. These may cause tremendous destruction. An earthquake, a volcanic eruption or underwater landslides can shift large amounts of ocean water. As a result, 
a huge tidal wave called tsunami that may be as high as 15 meters is formed. The largest tsunami ever measured was 150 meters high. These waves travel at a speed of more than 700 kilometers per hour. The tsunami of 2004 caused widespread damage in the coastal areas of India. The Indira Point in the Andaman and Nicobar Islands got submerged after the tsunami. Do you know? Tsunami is a Japanese word that means harbour waves, as the harbours get destroyed whenever there is tsunami. Tsunami, the Earth's pandemonium. Tsunami or the harbour wave struck havoc in the Indian Ocean on the 26th December 2004. The wave was the result of the earthquake that had its epicentre close to the western boundary of Sumatra. The magnitude of the earthquake was 9.0 on the Richter scale. As the Indian plate went under the Burma plate, there was a sudden movement of the sea floor, causing the earthquake. The ocean floor was displaced by about 10 to 20 meters and tilted in a downwardly direction. A huge mass of ocean water flowed to fill in the gap that was being created by the displacement. This marked the withdrawal of the water mass from the coastlines of the land masses in the South and Southeast Asia. After thrusting of the Indian plate below the Burma plate, the water mass rushed back towards the coastline. Tsunami travelled at a speed of about 800 km per hour, comparable to speed of commercial aircraft and completely washed away some of the islands in the Indian Ocean. Page 35 the Indira point in the Andaman and Nicobar Islands that marked the southernmost point of India got completely submerged. As the wave moved from earthquake epicenter from Sumatra towards the Andaman Islands and Sri Lanka, the wavelength decreased with decreasing depth of water. The travel speed also declined from 700 to 900 km per hour to less than 70 kilometers per hour. Tsunami waves traveled up to a depth of 3 kilometers from the coast, killing more than 10,000 people and affected more than lakh of houses. In India, the worst affected were the coastal areas of Andhra Pradesh, Tamil Nadu, Kerala, Puducherry and the Andaman and Nicobar Islands. While the earthquake cannot be predicted in advance, it is possible to give a three-hour notice of a potential tsunami. Such early warning systems are in place across the Pacific Ocean, but not in the Indian Ocean. Tsunamis are rare in the Indian Ocean, as the seismic activity is less as compared to the Pacific. Here we have two pictures representing destruction caused by tsunami on Tamil Nadu coast. The tsunami that ravaged the South and Southeast Asian coasts in December 2004 is the most devastating tsunami in the last several hundred years. The large damage caused to life and property was primarily a result of lack of monitoring, the early warning systems, and knowledge among the coast dwellers of Indian Ocean. The first indication that tsunami is approaching is the rapid withdrawal of water from the coastal region, followed by destructive wave. When this happened on the coast, instead of people going to high ground, they started assembling at the coast to view the miracle. As a consequence, there was a large casualty of curious onlookers when the gigantic wave, that is, 
tsunami struck. Tides The rhythmic rise and fall of ocean water twice in a day is called a tide. It is high tide when water covers much of the shore by rising to its highest level. It is low tide when water falls to its lowest level and recedes from the shore. Page 36 The strong gravitational pull exerted by the sun and the moon on the earth's surface causes the tides. The water of the earth closer to the moon gets pulled under the influence of the moon's gravitational force and causes high tide. During the full moon and new moon days, the sun, the moon and the earth are in the same line and the tides are highest. These tides are called spring tides. But when the moon is in its first and last quarter, the ocean waters get drawn in diagonally opposite directions by the gravitational pull of sun and moon, resulting in low tides. These tides are called neap tides. We have a picture here representing the same, spring tides and neap tide. High tides help in navigation. They raise the water level close to the shores. This helps the ships to arrive at the harbour more easily. The high tides also help in fishing. Many more fish come closer to the shore during the high tide. This enables fishermen to get a plentiful catch. The rise and fall of water due to tides is being used to generate electricity in some places. Activity Fill three-fourths of a bucket with tap water. Heat the water by putting an immersion rod on one side of the bucket. On the other side, introduce an ice tray just removed from the freezer. Add a drop of red ink to observe the path of current by the process of convection. Ocean Currents Ocean currents are streams of water flowing constantly on the ocean surface in definite directions. The ocean currents may be warm or cold. Generally, the warm ocean currents originate near the equator and move towards the poles. The cold currents carry water from polar or higher latitudes to tropical or lower latitudes. The Labrador Ocean Current is cold current, while the Gulf Stream is a warm current. The ocean currents influence the temperature conditions of the area. Warm currents bring about warm temperature over land surface. The areas where the warm and cold currents meet provide the best fishing grounds of the world. Page 37 Seas around Japan and the eastern coast of North America are such examples. The areas where a warm and cold current meet also experience foggy weather, making it difficult for navigation. On the page, towards the top, we have a picture of ocean currents. A world map displays the same. The picture also displays cold current and warm current. The routes these two currents take. Exercises 1. Answer the following questions. Part 1. What is precipitation? Part 2. What is water cycle? Part 3. What are the factors affecting the height of the waves? Part 4. Which factors affect the movement of ocean water? Part 5. What are tides and how are they caused? Part 6. What are ocean currents? 2. Give reasons. Part 1. Ocean water is salty. Part 2. The quality of water is deteriorating. 
page 38. 3. Tick the correct answer. Part 1. The process by which water continually changes its form and circulates between oceans, atmosphere and land. A. Water cycle. B. Tides. C. Ocean currents. Part 2. Generally, the warm ocean currents originate near A. Poles B. Equator C. None of these Part 3 The rhythmic rise and fall of ocean water twice in a day is called A. Tide B. Ocean current C. Wave 4. Match the following 1. Caspian Sea 2. Tide 3. Tsunami 4. Ocean Currents Your choices are A. Largest Lake B. Periodic Rise and Fall of Water C. Strong Seismic Waves D. Streams of Water Moving Along Definite Paths E. Water Cycle 5. For fun, be a detective. Part 1. The name of one river is hidden in each of the sentences below. Spot it. For example, Mandira, Vijaya Lakshmi and Surinder are my best friends. Answer, Ravi. A. The snake charmer's busty, stables, where horses are housed and the piles of wood all caught fire accidentally. Hint Another name for River Brahmaputra. B. The conference manager put pad, material for reading, and a pencil for each participant. Hint A distributory on the Ganga Brahmaputra Delta. C. Either jealousy or anger cause a person's fall. Hint. Name of a juicy fruit. D. Bhavani germinated the seeds in a pot. Hint. Look for her in West Africa. E. I am a zonal champion now, declared the excited athlete. Hint. The river that has the largest basin in the world. F. The tiffin box rolled down and all the food fell in dusty potholes. Hint. Rises in India and journeys through Pakistan. G. Malini leaned against the pole when she felt that she was going to faint. Hint. Her delta in Egypt is famous. H. Samantha mesmerized everybody with her magic tricks. Hint. London is situated on her estuary. I. In this neighborhood, please don't yell. Owners of these houses like to have peace. Warned my father when we moved into our new flat. Hint. Color. J. Write the following words, Mark. On. Go. In. Said the teacher to the little boy in KG class. Hint. Rhymes with bongo. Now make some more on your own and ask your classmates to spot the hidden name. You can do this with any name. That of a lake. Mountains, trees, fruits, school items, etc. Carry on, detective. Part 2 With the help of an atlas, draw each river which you discovered in For Fun Part 1 on an outline map of the world. The Chapter 5 of total nine chapters of the book ends here. Narrator Gaurav Marva Production Assistant 
शानू मुक्सीम प्रोड्यूसर विमलेश चौधरी प्रेजेंटेड बाय सी आई ई टी एन सी ई आर टी न्यू डेली इंडिया